Hello, Jane Cleland. How do I integrate a dream sequence so it doesn't feel just plugged in, coincidental, contrived? It's a great question and an important observation. It can feel contrived, coincidental, like you want information to get out there, but there's no organic way to do it. So, ah, let's have them have a dream. Yeah, no. I have two suggestions for you, one format, one writing. Format, integrate white space above it and below it, and you indicate that by putting three asterisks in the center of the line. That indicates whatever follows should have white space above it, and then at the end of the dream sequence, you would do the same thing, white space below it. You might even put it in italics to indicate that it's different. From a writing point of view, you need to think about why you're using a dream sequence. There are good reasons to do it. And for example, maybe a woman has a nightmare after certain stressful events. Maybe she's dreadfully afraid of thunderstorms, the violent weather. Well, that would be a good reason to then that night she has a nightmare. So you have the storm. You have her say, oh, please don't let me have that nightmare. White space, here's the nightmare. Now it feels more organic, more connected. And then at the end, don't forget to tell us, how is she reacting to it? Is she thrashing around in bed, jelly rolling her and the, herself in the blankets? Does she wake up with a start? Or after the nightmare, does she then ease into a solid, dreamless sleep? These are different reactions. So you need to get her into the nightmare and then out of the nightmare. Does she awaken the next morning refreshed? Or is she all tangled in her mind and doesn't know what to do? How are you going to handle that? Same thing with pleasant dreams. Maybe someone looks forward to a certain dream, but it's unpredictable. And when she has it, oh, she just wakes so refreshed. Why? What spurs it? What is the result of it? So you need to provide context, sensory interactions with it, and then you need to get her into it properly, organically, and out of it seamlessly. I know you can do it. How about you? Any books you've read that have dream sequences that worked really well, or have you done it and it, you thought it was especially effective? Put them in the comments section. I'd love to hear about it. And if this tip had value for you, would you like it? Would you share it? Would you subscribe to the channel? That opens up features that lets us make these videos even more valuable for you. Thank you.